Gone are the days when you had to spend huge amounts of money to get a good smartphone. Now you can find great options even if you have a tight budget. So if you're willing to spend up to 20,000 rupees, then you can find some really impressive options that will hold their own against much pricier smartphones. So stick with us. In this video, we tell you our top picks for the best smartphones available in India right now for less than 20,000 rupees. But before we start the video, please subscribe to our channel if you haven't already and hit that bell icon so you know when we post a new video. Now let's get started. One of the newest entries on this list is the Redmi Note 8 Pro, which is Xiaomi's new king of the popular Note series. During our review, we found out the phone to be a capable performer and we did not encounter any lag or stutter even when the smartphone was put under heavy load. The phone's 4500mAh battery offers decent runtime and it lasted for 14 hours in our HD video loop test. There are 4 rear cameras on this phone and the primary one captures sharp photos with good detail in daylight. Even in low light situations, the Redmi Note 8 Pro manages to capture decent amounts of detail but we did notice fine grain on zooming in. Wide angle shots however lack the detail offered by the primary shooter. The macro camera doesn't disappoint and the front camera also manages to take sharp selfies in good light. Xiaomi sells three variants of the Redmi Note 8 Pro in India which is 6GB RAM with 64GB storage, 6GB RAM with 128GB storage and 8GB RAM with 128GB of inbuilt storage. In this budget, you can easily get the top end variant of the smartphone. Even though the Poco F1 is over a year old, it still continues to be a great value for money thanks to the multiple price cuts it has received. Even its top end variants can now be found within our budget of 20,000 rupees. The high end Qualcomm Snapdragon 845 processor guarantees a lag free experience no matter what you throw at it. Additionally, the software is Xiaomi's MIUI with some tweaks made by the Poco team. The display offers vivid colors and has good viewing angles. Battery life is another department where the Poco F1 excels and the phone managed to last 17 hours and 5 minutes in our HD video loop test. On the imaging front, the POCO F1 takes photos with good detail in daylight and even macro shots were sharp. On the other hand, low light photos turned out average and even the phone's night mode was not of much help. There are three variants of the POCO F1 on sale in India which are 6GB of RAM with 64GB storage, 6GB of RAM with 128GB of storage and 8GB of RAM with 256GB of storage. You can go for any one of them and get a good deal. Realme has aggressively been expanding its smartphone portfolio in India but that hasn't impacted the quality of its smartphones. The Realme XT with its much touted 64 megapixel quad camera setup is an example of that. This phone features a bright display that offers punchy colors and good sunlight legibility. It offers a good day-to-day -day experience with speedy multitasking. The 64 megapixel camera captures detailed pixel bin shots as well as full 64 megapixel resolution images. The wide angle camera and the macro camera also take good photos and are useful in specific situations. Additionally, the selfie camera does a decent job. Like most Realme phones, the Realme XT performs exceptionally well on the battery front and went on for 20 hours and 36 minutes in our HD video loop test. Realme offers three variants of the Realme XT in India, which are 4GB of RAM with 64GB storage, 6GB of RAM with 64GB of storage and 8GB of RAM with 128GB of inbuilt storage. We suggest that you go for the top end variant if your budget permits. Samsung's Galaxy A series now includes some impressive smartphones and the Galaxy A50 is one of them. In our review, we found it to be a decent performer with lag-free day-to-day usage. However, spammy notifications are a bit of an issue. The Super AMOLED panel on this smartphone is really crisp and vibrant. Colors pop without being oversaturated. On the imaging front, the triple rear camera setup of the phone takes good looking photos. However, wide angle shots suffer from major distortion. The low light imaging performance of this phone is also decent. The Galaxy A50 ran for 14 hours and 59 minutes in our HD video loop test. 
Samsung sells two variants of the Galaxy A50 in the country which are 4GB of RAM with 64GB of storage and 6GB of RAM with 64GB of inbuilt storage. You can go for any one of them and get a good deal. The Nokia 7.2 is another recently launched entrant on this list. It sports a premium design and gave us no issues when handling day-to-day -day tasks. The battery performance of the phone is also decent and it managed to last 10 hours and 6 minutes in our HD video loop test. The main camera takes sharp photos with good amount of detail and dynamic range but images did turn out to be oversaturated. Low light shots were a bit underwhelming. As for selfies, the 20 megapixel snapper takes sharp photos under natural light and does a good job at preserving skin complexions and textures. You get stock Android with the promise of quick updates plus a very good HDR capable display. HMD Global sells two variants of the Nokia 7.2 in the country which are 4GB of RAM with 64GB of storage and 6GB of RAM with 64GB of inbuilt storage. We recommend you to go for the 6GB RAM variant of this smartphone. Realme X is another Realme smartphone that you can consider in this price bracket. This phone sports a premium design and also packs a screen that offers vivid and punchy colors. This smartphone is a capable performer and can easily get through CPU intensive tasks. In terms of cameras, the Realme X can take good landscape shots under favorable lighting conditions with nice colors and decent amounts of detail. It also does a good job with HDR and dynamic range. Close-ups as well as low-light performance of the smartphone was also decent. This phone lasted for 14 hours and 28 minutes in our HD video loop test. Realme offers the Realme X in two variants in the country which are 4GB of RAM with 128GB of storage and 8GB of RAM with 128GB of inbuilt storage. We recommend going for the 8GB RAM variant of this smartphone. The Oppo K3 shares a lot of similarities with the Realme X including its design and specifications. There are some differences but nothing major and that's why both the phones perform pretty much the same in our review. Because of this, the Oppo K3 looks premium and has a screen that offers punchy colors and good brightness. It is a good overall performer and doesn't disappoint on the battery front either as it lasted 14 hours and 46 minutes in our HD video loop test. There are some differences between the Realme X and Oppo K3 on the camera front but the latter can still capture good landscape shots in daylight. The photos taken under artificial lighting also turned out good. However, in low lighting situations, the Oppo K3 struggled with details. The Oppo K3 is available in two variants in the country which are 6GB of RAM with 64GB of storage and 8GB of RAM with 128GB of inbuilt storage. Both the variants can be found within our budget. You can consider the Motorola One Vision if you like stock Android. Like most other Motorola One series smartphones, this phone is also a part of the Google Android One program. This smartphone sports an eye-catching design and if you don't like gradient finishes, you will appreciate the One Vision's color options. The 21 to 9 aspect ratio screen is another highlight of the smartphone. It is a capable performer and we did not experience any lag or stutters in our daily usage which involved heavy multitasking, playing games and web browsing. The phone's main camera takes some really good photos with a ton of detail and depth, however photos taken in daylight tended to be oversaturated. The phone also takes impressive macro shots as well as low light photos. It lasted 11 hours and 45 minutes in our HD video loop test which is just about decent. The Motorola One Vision is only available in a single variant in the country which is 4GB of RAM with 128GB of inbuilt storage and you can easily find one for less than 20,000 rupees. The Xiaomi Mi A3 is another great option if you want a stock Android smartphone. It offers good performance without any lag or stutter, however not everyone will like the lower resolution display. Moving on, the Mi A3 takes good daylight photos with ample amounts of detail. The HDR functionality is a bit of a letdown as it tends to lift blacks a bit too aggressively. Taking macro shots is a task on the Mi A3 as the phone takes a long time to focus. However, it is able to capture good shots in low light situations as long as you are patient. Moreover, the phone shines on the battery front as it ran for 16 hours and 21 minutes in our HD video loop test. 
Xiaomi offers two variants of the Mi A3 in India which are 4GB of RAM with 64GB of storage and 6GB of RAM with 128GB of inbuilt storage. You can find both the variants for less than 20,000 rupees. The Vivo Z1 Pro turned out to be a great smartphone to hype the company's online-only portfolio. This smartphone sports an eye-catching glossy design with a gradient finish. Battery life is one area where the Vivo Z1 Pro really shines and it can easily last over a day and a half even with extensive 4G usage, streaming some video, playing games and taking a number of photos. It also lasted an impressive 18 hours and 32 minutes in our HD video loop test. This smartphone takes good photos with nice colors and a lot of detail. The images taken in low light situations also turned out good with limited noise and decent colors. Vivo offers three variants of the Z1 Pro in the country which are 4GB of RAM with 64GB of storage, 6GB of RAM with 64GB of storage and 6GB of RAM with 128GB of inbuilt storage. We recommend going for the top end variant of this smartphone. And these were our top picks for the best phones that are available in India right now for less than 20,000 rupees. Hit the like button if you found this video helpful and share it with others. Thanks for watching and for all things tech, log on to gadgets360.com.